good morning sewing friends. So today I want to talk to you about cardigans. I don't know about you, but it's freezing everywhere in the eastern half of the United States right now. And uh, unfortunately, it's not going to get any better. And I just noticed it's snowing outside. Sweet. So anyway, let's talk cardigans because it's cold and gray and winter is still here. So um, today I'm wearing the Hot Patterns Gatsby cardigan. I will put it up over here so you can see it, but this is a really wonderful cardi. I'll step close so you can kind of see. It's got this lovely faux fur collar. This is detachable, although in my version, I actually just stitched it down with some basting stitches because I didn't really feel like putting the detachable part on it because when am I ever not going to want to have a fur collar on my cardigan? But it does have uh, just a regular v-neck line with, uh, you can see there's like a, some facing stitching here. So it does have a v-neck line with facing stitching. It wraps in front. It's got two snaps here in the front, here and here. So it does wrap across. You can omit the snaps if you want to. Um, now I made this a couple years ago and it was a little slouchier on me then and it should be a little slouchier on me now working on that. Um, so definitely um, I would go up a size if I were making this today. I would actually go up a whole size. Um, maybe even two sizes. Probably just a whole size I think. Um, it's got a great belt. And I made this in a stretchy double knit. So this is like the kind of stuff that your mom sewed with in the 70s. But look at this cool print. It's got really nice darts set into a princess seam here. And of course, uh, a banded edge. Um, now my banded edge stretched a little bit. And um, the way to prevent that is to not stretch it when you're sewing it. Um, use the differential feet on your serger if you have one. Um, because when you attach it, see it's just like a regular facing. So you actually sew it to this part first and then you flip it under and stitch. And of course it's raw edges because it's a knit. Um, so it's super easy to sew. I highly recommend a double knit, a ponte knit, or some kind of firm sweater knit. Um, you could even use sweatshirting. I'm be divine in sweatshirt. It's got really nice two-piece sleeves, so it fits like a jacket. Um, I can push these up because they're fitted and it's a knit, so I've got a lot of options. But this is a really nice cardigan pattern. Now, a couple of other cardigans that I love as well. Um, this is the Christine Johnson Swing Jacket, and um, this is also a really great one too, and I'll put this one on so you can see. Um, this is also a really great one. It's an older pattern. Um, but it's got such great shape and great lines that I really want to show it to you um, because I think it's worthy of your time in making. Now it does have um, inseam pockets when you make it, but I omitted them because I used a sweater type knit um, for this one. So I'm going to put this on so you can see. Um, this one's got a nice high neck in the back and it's got this great shape. So you can see it's, it's swingy, but it's not full through the bust. So it's more fitted through the bust and then it kind of swings out from there. So that's a really fun piece. I wore this, I uh, made this in a different version when I was pregnant, which was just awesome, right? Because then you, know, you got plenty of room over the belly. Um, but I also made this in a couple of other versions since then, and I'll show you that one as well. Um, I made this wonderful long stripey version, same cardigan, just long. Um, so I did this one and I added some fun fringe on the bottom of this one. So this one's the same cardigan I just showed you here, the swing cardi back here. Um, same exact one. As I put it back in my dress form, looking all terrible. There we go. Set you back up there a little bit better. Goodness. There we are. Can't have you looking bad on the dress form. Okay, so this is the same exact cardigan as that one. And as you can see, this one is in a rayon knit, and this one's much more floaty, long, and I added this fun little fringe at the bottom. So a cardigan is your best friend in the spring, simply because it's cold out and you need layers. You need to change out of layers. Um, there's nothing worse than putting on a sweater in the morning and then discovering at two o'clock in the afternoon that it's 65 degrees and you really need to shed that sweater and only you can't because it was a turtleneck. Um, so a cardigan offers you the opportunity, of course, to do that layer swapping thing that we have to do in the spring. Or if you're like me and you're just cold in the morning and then warm in the afternoon or evening, here you go. Now, of course, this, by the way, this Gatsby can also be worn open without the ties on it as well. So if you want a looser kind of open front cardigan, you can do that. On my blog, I'm also featuring some casual jackets that I featured before, a couple of them I featured before that I really like and those include 
the arty but terribly illustrated Tremont jacket um, by Sewing Workshop. I really like this one. It's got a nice kind of artistic vibe to it. It's got some fun points at the bottom here with mitered corners and some shaping. It's got a lovely kimono style collar and a sleeve. And I really like this for doing some more artistic treatments. Like I'm gonna do this one in a scrap version, um, but not too quilted, more like arty scrap version. Um, but this is also an online jacket, which is great. I also talk about a couple of other ones in there, including a replacement to the, for those of you who really love the Wixton unfolding jacket. I think you'll really like the selection that I've got. I've seen other people make other su suggestions of kimono style jackets. Um, I picked out the Ginger from Sew so News, and I think it's a really good option. I have that one as well, and comparing it to the Wixton is really, really close. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that out. But cardigans are your best friend this time of year, and there's so many of them. Now, Hot Patterns also has one which I'm going to talk about, but I don't have the pattern envelope up here um, because I think it's a digital pattern for me. It's called the Mighty Morphin Cardigan Jacket. Now, this cardigan pattern from Hot Patterns is a long cardigan with a raglan sleeve and a nice little dart right up here. Um, so you can make it as a maxi cardigan. You can, it comes with pockets. It also comes with, no kidding, a bomber version, a hoodie zip-up version with kangaroo pockets, a, um, what are the other ones? A hooded version, um, a complete zip front. I mean, there's so many variations of this cardigan jacket. It's crazy. You can make it everything from an anorak with a drawstring waist and pockets and a hood to um, a bomber style jacket with the classic, you know, uh, uh, bomber or athletic uh, collar there. I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing pattern. Another variation of that, if you just want the more Chanel style cardigan, is this one here by Hot Patterns, and I'll put this one up too as well. This is the um, Metropolitan Slouchy Cardigan. And as you can see from the illustration, it comes in a shorter version, which you're looking at here. And it's got those classic like Chanel style pockets, so make this in a boucle knit. Or it's got a longer version here. Now, the Mighty Morphin is, is a little different from this. The Mighty Morphin actually is, is this sleeve. It's not raglan, it's the sleeve. Um, but it's different than this um, a little bit um, because it's got all those other variations. So if you're going to buy one, buy the Mighty Morphin. I think it's more versatile. But if you want one that's more Chanel kind of looking, this would definitely be it. And you can see that the um, designer has illustrated this exactly in that. A knit boucle with the Chanel style trim with a white t-shirt and jeans. I mean, you, you couldn't possibly pick a more French look than this one right here and it's completely designed for that so um, definitely check this one out this is the metropolitan slouchy cardigan from hot patterns i did check this one is available on their website right now they're all digital downloads but they have a zero files um, so you can go ahead and get that if you're going to do it at your copy shop or you can print them out and tape them at home if you want to a lot of these cardigans are going to be bigger so it's a lot of pattern pieces right or a lot of pieces um, so th that's my mix of cardigans you're going to wear a cardigan all year round um, if you live in a northern climate and um, you might as well have some that are really nice and um, fit you well and look really nice. I have a meeting today with a client, actually I have a couple meetings with a client today, and this is going to be perfect on my Zoom calls. So definitely make yourself some cardigans, check out the blog post at paradise-graphic.com or so paradise for my picks. I will put everything up in the corner here so you can see it on the video, but of course, oh by the way, the last thing I didn't tell you. All the Hot Patterns ones have lined pockets. Lined pockets! Because the worst thing on a cardigan that's made from a knit is a pocket that slouches. So I use regular traditional like poly lining here, like non-stretch woven lining. It's perfect. There are instructions for doing that in the pattern envelope. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you follow those. Most cardigan patterns aren't going to have the style pocket, and it really does make a huge difference. You can put your phone in there. It's not going to stretch out. It's not going to bag out. You can see that it's just, you can see the phone in there, of course, because, you know, it's in a pocket. But perfect. So highly recommend. Um, this one's really slouchy. I can cinch it up at the waist if I want to. You know, if I had a snatched, cinchable waistline, which I don't. Um, but I can cinch it up at the waistline if I want to, or I can leave it open. And I definitely would go up a size if I were to make this again today, but I made this a couple years ago. So cardigans, love them. You will too. Check them out, paradise-graphic.com or so paradise.